I found this lot of H1 parts listed on Craigslist, and I've already gone through it, but these two blue bins are not triple parts. Uh, but I did get two really nice gas tanks. I don't see any dents. The insides look clean. Um, one's even got decent paint on it. This one's been stripped. Oil tank, rear section that's complete in really nice shape. Another tail light lens. I think there's like four petcocks, a couple more gas caps. In here I've got an oil pump, uh, some brakes parts, two partial carburetors, quite a few cables that are in decent shape, foot pegs, air intakes. Um, so decent, decent haul for uh, 400 bucks, I'd say. Um, the tanks will replace, or one of them will replace my tank on my 73, probably the tail section too, depending on what I do with it. Uh, so yeah, pretty stoked. I, I need to address the instrument panel, which has completely broken, probably from whatever impact that was. Get the headlight bucket off. Um, man. I do have a headlight bucket on order, just a generic one, not an actual OEM Kawasaki. But I've got to pull all that top stuff off to get to it. Probably hold on that till it comes in. In case you're ever using these model paints and you have them separated rather than shaking them, a 30 millimeter socket. Improvised paint shaker. Trim down my paintbrush to just a few hairs, bristles, whatever you want to call them. And uh, this is kind of nerve wracking, but give it a shot. I mean, not terrible, not great, but it'll work. Maybe a better way to do it is just overfill it and uh, Wipe the excess with a little mineral spirits. That seems to have worked pretty good. A little bit of bleed between the O and off and the dot, but you'll never see that when it's on the bike. The red I have is very red, so I mixed it with some white. Hopefully it'll show up. Yeah, that's going to be eh, not terrible. Wish it was more red. Should add some yellow to it or something. So I think overfilling it actually works out better. Just kind of fill the void of the letters and then wipe off the excess. Not bad. Run is running together a little bit. I'm calling that good. Let these dry and then we'll get these things put back together. Been several weeks since I last recorded anything and that is because I have gone through uh, several sets of dust boots, including all balls and I believe MCO or NCO or something like that. Finally went to Z1 and got these dust boots and um, I also ordered new lower bolts since the two I have don't match, so the nice shiny ones there. I got one dust boot installed on my new forks, so I'll get the other one installed and we'll get them installed into the triple trees and back on the bike. All right, you probably could have just hammered these in before installing the tubes, but I have a seal driver, which just slides over, and then you just hammer it home. Install the washer, which I actually helped to do before you hammer it. One more for good measure. And then the retaining clip. Which 
sure that's fully seated. Looks good to me. Ooh, that was a fun sound. Okay, there you go. Oh, there you go. All right, I got the forks installed in the lower. And... It's gonna be tricky. Wash the grease off and be right back. All right, I got the upper on and I've adjusted the left shock where it's just flush with it. So I'll go ahead and tighten this one down. And then this one is a little bit high. So I'm actually gonna jack up the bike again. Gently tap down on that fork till it's flush. Up there. Probably can't even see what I just did. So you'll just have to trust me, and then I'll tighten down lower on this side. Okay, now I should be able to lower the bike. And then we can get the engine hoist out of the way. I've got the lower fork tubes flip around so that when I install the EX500 caliper, the larger piston is leading the smaller piston. And then with the upper triple tree back on, when I had installed the headlight handlebars, um, I am not at all a fan of these headlight clamps, so I'm definitely gonna get some different ones. And then by the looks of it, it needs to go down a little bit. Although, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for a front fender, so figure that out. And then got the tank installed, just dummied up. And then I got this new tail section, which was very expensive. Um, and it doesn't fit exactly how I wanted. Uh, obviously, it would be nicer if it was wider up there. But I do like the rear end, so we'll see what I do with that. But yeah, that is starting to look like what I envisioned. Nice.